used to be being loud, hanging out, making moves all over town. Trying to be cautious, your case of my style. Everybody wanna know what's going down. But that's not how I'm living now. I did a 360, turn my whole life around. Now I room the keys like, yeah, I like how that sound. I wanna know the heaven where the don't sit loud. But see, it's like a bird in a chain. People say I'm different since I came out the game. Now they know I'm Christian, so they think I'm a lame. But I don't care because I'm gonna worship your name. All my real life, Christian, throw your hands up. Beauties, it is CC, your frugal goddess. I'm coming to you today with another intimate things video. I know y'all like CC, you done went too far with this intimate things. Where are our wig reviews and stuff? Well, I will be back um, Wednesday with a wig review. I'm gonna try to get it uploaded today. Um, well, tonight it's nighttime here, but anyway, I'm gonna try to get it uploaded tonight so I can um, not upload it, but I'm gonna try to film it tonight so I can upload it for Wednesday. Um, this is the wig I will be reviewing. Uh-oh, y'all. It is uh, the Cutie Collection, and it's CT34, and it's in a 427. You guys, the back looks gorgeous. Um, I don't know what's going on here, but anyway, this is not what this is about. But this is the wig I will be reviewing, so if you want to see my review on this wig, um, check out my Wiggy Wednesday. So, as you can see from the title, today's video is about finding our inner diva, our inner goddess. Um, the other term for it is divine femininity. And so, you know, I don't go as in-depth as some of the other people that do these videos. I will link some videos down below for, um a deeper deeper digging or a more in-depth video but i just kind of skim the surface because i feel like if i go too deep then i am guiding your inner diva or whatever you are i'm guiding you on your search but this is a search that you need to do on your own and as i have done because it's for me when I was, when I first heard about Yoni Eggs, it is so funny, you guys, I'm going to tell this story. Um, my friend, Miss Tweety, she was telling me about Yoni Eggs. So, I thought she was talking about some type of real eggs. So, she said, you know, women insert the eggs, this, that, and the other, and then they bury them. Well, <laughs> um, I told her, I said, I'm quite sure. And then this is what she said. She said, you know, they may stay inside you for a day, a week, or forever long until it expels itself. So I'm like, inside you, a week. And so she said, yeah. And she said, and then they bury them to cleanse them. I said, I'm quite sure they do have to bury that thing after it's been inside somebody for a week. Now, I have never kept a yoni egg in for a week but um that is a discussion we will get into probably later on in the week or next week but i will tell you this if you do keep it in it does not uh leave any foul odor the yoni egg does not hold any foul odor so anywho um that is that conversation but as she was talking to me about that I was just like, mm -mm, no, I don't want nothing at that. I'm, that's over my pay grade. I don't want anything added. And the crazy part is, <clears throat> at that time, I'm quite sure I was not open for it. And so once I, um, even once I found out what it was, and it piqued my interest in everything, and so then my next, um, I got into a one of the Yoni groups, and so when I was listening and well reading and listening to some women's testimonies and stuff, I'm like, mm, that's a little different. But as I personally grew, I could then relate to their testimonies and their stories and whatnot. And I have told people also, you know, um, even my own Yoni Egg story testimony, however, um, I said, you know, if I was on the outside listening, 
I would think I was crazy. <laughs> so I know some of it sounds crazy, but it really it's to each each experience is a personal experience. Okay, it's a personal experience, and so my experience will be totally different from your experience. So I'm saying all that to say this: my inner goddess, my divine 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 femininity is totally different from your divine divine femininity. Okay, for me, but it is um, for a lot of women, most women, we our bodies were made to nurture, to create life, to hold life. And so sometimes what happens is we get out into this world. We get ahead of ourselves. Uh, we have babies, okay, sometimes with the husband, sometimes with not without a husband but we have these babies we we spent some especially single moms oh my goodness i have been there done that do not want to do it again mm -mm. but um single moms they are taking care taking on the role of the husband the wife the mother the father the um just all the roles okay and so a lot of times when we are taking on all these different roles we get lost so for me, I found that as I've become as I've grown by using my yoni egg, using my crystals, through my prayers and meditation, I have become what they call more grounded. So that hence my organization skills are blooming. So I'm learning to organize better. My um I'm looking at something right now, I'm finna get out of this closet. I'm not even going to show it to y'all, but it's, it's irking me. But those are the little things that are honed in and are developed through me being more grounded. Another thing is my, uh, I'm being much more creative. Like I'm coming up with DIYs and stuff. And so we are at six minutes. I don't know if I'm going to make it through all of this. But in um, throughout the video, you will see like DIYs I have done. Um, this right here is a picture of a niche and it's right across from my office. The vases were $6 at Family Dollar. The little um, branches and whatnot in the vases were a dollar. And I mean, in each vase, it's a whole dollar bunch. That's what I got from the Dollar Tree. And so all together, that was a $14 um the two vases and the inserts were fourteen dollars. Two of the pictures, the two pictures were from Dollar Tree. The one picture with the um, God so loved the world that was actually a flyer that was sent out to advertise for something, and I saw it and I liked it. I'm like, hmm, I'm gonna put it in a frame. So I brought all of that together. The angels I actually got for free um, from off of Craigslist or something when I was in Washington. The two maroon ones, I actually spray painted them maroon. The gold one, I think it was already gold. But all of that, all together, that whole area was under $20. The basket, uh, the little uh, basket cushion that the African statues are sitting in, that I think I got for free. The African statues were a dollar ninety nine a piece, I think. Um, for a set of two. So, anywho, the whole little area right there was under $20. I will be doing a video. Uh, I'm going to try to do a voiceover. So, if it doesn't, if the voiceover does not turn out right, um, I will wind up doing a slideshow type talking video where I put the pictures up in here. But I'm going to do, I'm going to do that in a different video of how you can do DIYs. But what I am going to show you are, here are some vases I saw at Walmart. As you can see, they are like $20 and up. And the inserts are right here. And the inserts are like 5 and $10. So what could be a, what, $60 project? I did for under $20. And those are the things. It's a way to do DIYs because it's a lot of them. Like, I see some of them on YouTube, on Pinterest and stuff. I'm like, I'm not spending all that money. And then I got to put it in the work, too. Mm -mm, I'm not doing that. But I have found a lot, a lot, a lot of awesome uh, 
DIYs from the Dollar Tree. Like, ladies are really clowning doing these Dollar Tree DIYs. I actually am in the process of doing one. Um, I thought it would be done by now, but I've been lazy. This is one I did with a regular candle. And I've been burning this candle. This is a regular Glade candle. And I took the um, candle holder from the Dollar Tree and the E6000. And I glued it together. Now, what I will do once this candle is dead, I will put set this part like this in hot water so it'll loosen the candle. And then I will um, take this out and replace it with another, another pillar candle. So this is just something I did there. I actually did a, um, a picture frame, which is really ghetto, but it was my first time. I had a uh, thought in my head, and I didn't quite do it right, but this is how it turned out right there. And so, you know, my point I'm saying with all of this is, you know, my inner femininity, my inner... Uh, my divine femininity, what I am creating now, I'm no longer having babies, so I'm not creating life. But what I'm creating is I'm doing dollar, I'm doing um, uh, DIY projects. Is it DIY, DIY, whatever they are. Do-it-yourself projects. I'm doing those. And in the process, I am fixing up my house. I'm, you know, I'm really designing my house. And we will go through... Once I get through with each room, we will go through and I will give you a tour of the room. I um The bedroom, it's going to take me a long time to do that. The living room, I probably should have took a before picture, but I will probably be done with that maybe in February. Uh, just depends on what rummage sales, yard sales, whatever I hit and how long it takes me to do the projects. But... Um, Anyway, the office, the office, I think I will, I just need to do some organizing in there and I will be done with that. But I will go through and give you room by room tours so you can see what I did. Um, but, you know, you have to find your divine femininity and yours may be finding a local theater group um, and do some play acting there. If you think you can do stand up comedy they have a lot of local places where you could do that at. They have comedy shows and stuff. And I'm quite sure that they have some local ones in your area. If you just Google it or whatever, you could find it. You may want to take up a class, karate. My son is doing karate. And I thought about it. I'm like, shoot, I could probably do that. But y'all, I'm clumsy and I, that's not, I don't feel that right now. But I know eventually down the line, I am going to do something with my body and karate or tai chi or something sounds like something I would be interested in. So that's all I'm saying. In order to find your inner goddess, you have to find out what gives you life. I will link a um, a journal down below that you can actually journal, and you can and it helps you to find your um, inner goddess, and it is like amazing. It is so wonderful. And so it helps you to do that. And it helps you kind of find yourself and figure out where you are in life. And right now I'm doing mine on my phone. I will probably go back and actually do as suggested. And that's printed out and make a book out of it. I actually have a book that I'm going to start journaling in. Just little journaling thing type things. But I am going to start journaling in there and jotting ideas and stuff down. So that's all I'm just... I'm probably rambling in this video, but um, somebody will get the point. <laughs> but that is, you know, you need to find your inner goddess because we women, we lose ourselves. We get lost in transition. We have so much going on. And sometimes you just have to find time for yourself. And you can take it slow. You can do a uh, a foot bath. Get you one of those little foot massager tubs. Put you some peppermint, eucalyptus, and lavender in there. And put your feet in there with some Epsom salt and those oils and stuff. And I'm here to tell you, not only will you feel better after the fact, y'all, when I tell you your feet will be soft as a baby's bottom, I have done it, I know. I'm talking about, ooh, we your feet will be so soft, you're going to sit there and rub them together on yourself. So just take time out for yourself and do something positive for yourself this week. 
Later on this week, I'll be back with some other things. And I will hit on this topic again because I know I've rambled on a lot during this video. So I will hit on this topic again. I want you, ladies, oh my goodness, please, 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 I need to definitely upload this tonight. I need you to please say a prayer again for my friend that has the thyroid cancer. She is going to see the surgeon tomorrow. And so I just want you to say a prayer and continue to praise and claim God for healing. Um, with that, I want you to have a beautiful, blessed day. And I'm going to say a quick prayer. Lord, we humbly come before you in your precious son, Jesus' name. We thank and praise you right now. Lord, we thank you for allowing us to make it through this day thus far. Lord, we just truly, truly thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank and praise you for um, helping us to dig deep within ourselves and to find the women that you have created us to be, to help us to find our inner goddess, to find our inner diva, just to find that inside person that we have lost so much. We have lost, we have done for everybody else and have just lost ourselves, Lord. So I just truly thank and praise you right now, Lord, in your precious son, Jesus' name. Lord, I ask you to touch, we just claim healing for my friend. You know who I'm talking about, Lord. We claim healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Your word says, by his stripes, we are healed. And we claiming it and we receiving it right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I'm just placing my hand on my throat as if it was her throat and I claim healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm praising you for it because I know it's already done. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Wonderful Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, I thank you. I thank you and I praise you right now in your mighty son, Jesus' name. Amen. Y'all, I am going to get out of here. I held y'all hostage long enough. I apologize. I did not mean for this video to be this long. Um, I want you to have a beautiful, blessed day. I want you to remember to be your own kind of beautiful. And tell somebody you love them. Don't wait too late. Later.